British boxer Anthony Joshua will be fighting at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium this September. Reports are stating that the Tottenham Hotspur playing squad had reservations over the appointment of Antonio Conte due to his style of management. And a Spurs legend is now questioning the club's direction and has stated that the club needs to appoint a manager as soon as possible because it has now been 50 days since the sacking of Jose Mourinho. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. Now in today's video I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports and if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. A report has been published on the Sky Sports website this afternoon and they are stating that AJ's world title fight is heading to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Anthony Joshua has been holding talks about defending his WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight titles against W. BO mandatory challenger uh, Alexander Ozik and Tottenham Hotspur has been selected as a preferred venue. The report then states that the 62,000 seated venue has been picked as a preferred venue for the bout which is expected to be scheduled in September 2021. Joshua had agreed to face Pulev at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium last June but the fight was switched to Wembley Stadium last December due to the COVID-19 pandemic. A report was published by the Daily Express today and they are stating that Tottenham players' thoughts on Antonio Conte made clear after appointment failure. Tottenham supposedly came close to appointing Antonio Conte before talks broke down last week. The report then states that Tottenham players reportedly expressed doubts about Antonio Conte's management style when it became clear that the club was in advanced talks with the Italian over replacing Jose Mourinho. Antonio Conte was favourite to take the Spurs job until Friday when discussions broke down. Later on in this report, it says, according to The Athletic, uh, members of the Tottenham Hotspur playing squad had reservations over Conte's style of management. Individuals had spoken to friends who had previously played under the 51-year-old and were told of his extreme and demanding methods. Some also had suspicions that Antonio Conte rarely made the most of his youth systems at previous clubs. At Chelsea, Conte received criticism for not turning to a talented pool of academy stars. In the report from the Daily Express, it then goes on to say that Tottenham have the likes of forward Dane Scarlett, midfielder Harvey White and fullback Dennis Serkin coming through and hope to integrate them into the first team. Addressing supporters ahead of the final home game of the season, a 2-1 defeat against Aston Villa, Chairman Daniel Levy said that the next manager will play attacking football and use the club's academy. Former Tottenham and England goalkeeper Paul Robinson has been talking to the Football Insider about Tottenham now not having a manager for 50 days since sacking Jose Mourinho. He said, the way this has been done has shocked me. Daniel Levy is a very astute businessman who is very clever and has looked after the best interests of the club in all of his time. But the sacking of Jose Mourinho now looks very strange. Paul Robinson then went on to say, I thought there would have been more of a clear direction as to where the club are going and that hasn't been the case. There doesn't seem to be a plan and that is worrying. An appointment needs to be made sooner rather than later because there are big decisions to be made. They need to sign two centre-halves and the future of Harry Kane needs to be resolved. And finally, Tottenham Hotspur tweeted earlier today, today marks two years since the tragic passing of defender Justin Edinburgh, a Spurs legend never forgotten. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and well. Until the next video, come on you Spurs.